Well, it's a wonderful spring day in Las Vegas and it's starting to warm up. Let's go thrifting. And because it is warming up here in Las Vegas, we're going to revisit one of our favorite frozen custard shops. So come along with us. You'll have fun. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Before we go picking, we're heading down the strip to say goodbye to an iconic landmark. On the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana Avenue is the original Tropicana Las Vegas. As my best friend Tyler likes to say in the movie Diamonds Are Forever, Sean Connery says, I've heard the Hotel Tropicana is nice. Well, it was nice in its day. It was a fantastic high roller hotel. This is where Lucille Ball stays when uh, Lucy and Ricky go to Las Vegas in I Love Lucy. There's so much history here. I'm sorry to see it go, but that's kind of the rule of Vegas. When something reaches its age, it goes and something new comes in its place. So now they're going to tear this down, implode it, and they are going to build the Las Vegas ballpark which is where the Oakland A's are going to move to in a few years time. So it'll be really interesting to see how the skyline changes as that's built up. And uh, in a few months, we'll come back here and we'll watch the festivities as another Vegas casino says goodbye. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to walk through this legendary casino one more time. It was surreal to see some slot machines turned on and some already shut down. We put $5 in just for old time's sake. The Tropicana opened in 1957, and when it was built, it cost $15 million, making it the most expensive hotel ever constructed in Las Vegas. That's a number that's changed drastically in the years since. It's really something to be here on its final day of operation. At 12 p.m. tomorrow, they close their doors. And then in a few months, as so many Vegas buildings have in the past, kaboom. We're going to be here for that, too. What remains to be seen is if they can save the iconic glass ceiling. I sure hope they do. As we walked out, we passed rows and rows of closed slot machines. Farewell, Tropicana. One of the reasons why we came down here is because I've got a Knights game across the street at T-Mobile Arena, also known as the Fortress. So mom and dad are going to go thrifting while I go to the game with David. So I will see you later for some delicious frozen custard. Okay, so now we're at Goodwill. Let's go in and see if we can find some treasures here. Are you game, Gary? Let's do it. Well, it looks like we have a bag of ceramic crosses. Those are kind of cute. I think they're just production made, but the colors are nice on those. And look at this. It's a little wood carved box of some kind. Looks like it's pretty beat up, though. Ah, oh no, that's where you put a little spoon. Hmm. All right. Okay. Pretty rose. Up there, look at those seahorse candle holders. Can we pull that down so you can see it closer? No, I can see on the bottom they're from Kohl's. So I don't think I'm interested. What is this down here, though? Oh, I might have been interested because of the uh, colors. Big, big chip. chip. Big chip. You can't survive a chip like that. And look at this. What is this? This is a little creamer. It is something of... Oh, there we go. Let me see the tag. It says it's Angels of California Pottery Creamer. So it obviously was like in an antique mall. And it's a little pottery creamer. I'm trying so to see. It is in good shape, but I'll be honest with you. It just, it doesn't really excite me. I, I don't think that uh, it's that fantastic. Come on, let's turn the corner and see what else we can find. Look at this piece here. It's like that fake water in there. These can be super expensive to buy. 
they went 4.99 for that little guy. That's not a terrific example. It's it's okay, but <laughs> the little mailbox, the bears on it, kind of cute. Let's see, I don't see any handmade pottery, and already we're in the clear glass here. Not seeing anything here. Let's turn the corner and go over to the glasses. We have a mermaid mug here, the scales on it, American Altier. What do you see? Ooh, ooh, what do you see? Let's see that. Hmm, it's got a chip on it, unfortunately. And I don't believe it's signed. No. Yeah, the quality's not there on that one. It is so lightweight. And you can hardly get your fingers in the handle, so it's not really well constructed. Do you see anything else up there? I'm looking. We found that one. That was a good, good look. I'm trying to see. Oh, what does this say? Oh, it's somebody's names on there. That's kind of cute. Let's see what else we have. We have lots of glasses. Look at those blue, that blue color is so beautiful. Just not much profit in, in those items. Just lots of clear glasses here and down in one of these. Look at that, that's kind of unusual in the shape. I guess you'd have a margarita and more margarita in the bottom. It's a very thick glass. It is, it's super heavy. All right, let's, let's look over here at the dishes. Look at this one down here. That looks like a piece of Mexican pottery. I wish it was a little more colorful. I'd like that if that was super colorful. Let's keep going. This kind of has an uh, atomic vibe to it, like the starburst. Uh, Beekman Home. Not familiar with that. But there are so many dish brands out there. Hey, here's my mug. I love New York. Let's shoot you. But it's extremely worn. But at least that's the size cup again that you would really like to have your coffee in. Let's see what else we have. Look at the pigs. Those are funny. We've got a set of pigs. It's the four seasons, but there's only three. It's kind of funny though. All right, I'm finishing up just dishes. Let's turn the corner. Why is this so taped up, I wonder? I'm trying to see the top of this. It's very heavy, this little teapot. That's a lot of tape. It's so heavy, feel how heavy that is, Gary. Oh, yeah, you see what I mean? Uh, maybe that's why there's so much tape on it. I have no idea. This is pretty. It's a little bird creamer, but it's transfer wear, and it's kind of worn off a little bit. So, and this little brown glaze is all chipped up, so we're going to leave that. I don't see anything else, actually, along here. You see what the name on there is. Um, let's go take a look at the jewelry. Well, I don't think I see anything today in the jewelry. Um, lots of costume pieces and so forth, but just, I don't think anything that I would be interested in at all right now. So I think we're going to move on. There is a little pin here that could be a good for a makeup artist. Oh yeah. A little makeup pin. Good eye, Gary. <laughs> well, we thought we'd give a different thrift store a chance. So we're here at the Salvation Army. Come on, Gary, let's see what they have. Come on, let's head back to the hard goods. All right, let's go. Well, I think Cinderella lost her slipper. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a glass shoe before. It looks like your size. <laughs> Except they do want $20 for that. 
it's not signed anywhere, so. Well, they've got lots of things to look at here. They've got some mugs and, oh, look at these little bunnies down here. Those are kind of cute. Made in Taiwan, but they're, they're very inexpensively made, so I don't think we're interested in those guys. Let's go over here, Gary. I like the design on this piece of pottery. But it's not marked. Oh, it is marked under that tag. Let's see if we can see who made Oh, no, it's just a, a regular production piece. I just thought that was a, a nice design. All right, moving on. Look at this chicken. It's a pottery chicken, but I think it's just a lid, and it's missing its base. That's too bad. It's redware. She would be too big to ship, but I do like her personality. Let's see what else we have. We have like a trivet here. A little box. Let's see what else. We just have some figurines and a little cup. <laughs> Not too much here, actually. Let's go around here, Gary, and see if you see anything here. We have a picture, but again, this is just a production piece. Nothing too much. Let's go over to the mugs. Well, they have an interesting way of pricing. So with their mugs, plates, coffee cups, etc., you buy one, it's $1.99, two to four, $1.49 and five or more, 99 cents each. So that, that would be good if you found a whole bunch of mugs. Come on, Gary, what are we gonna find? Now look at that. That looks like a handmade piece, 1982. And who does that say on there? It says something USA with a kind of like a bear paw in the middle. No, I can't make up that top name. No, but that's, um, unfortunately, I think it it has been a little bit used. So I think we're going to have to leave that. Let's look down and see. It'd be lovely to find five great mugs. You get that great pricing then. I know your eagle eyes are looking. I'm looking. Here's another Gary size mug. That's isn't that like from C's, Mrs. C's? <laughs> Does that look like the C's lady? Kind of looks C's like candy. It, and oh look, we have a Ray Dunn. Unfortunately, it has been used. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's not Ray Dunn. It is a knockoff called Kitchen Worthy. Sure looks Ooh. like Ray, doesn't it? Yeah, that was. Uh, that was a fooler. That fooled me. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find one mug, let alone five. So, well, why don't we carry on? Let's find, let's find somewhere else. What do you think, Gary? I think it's time to move on. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Will with Picker Road here to talk about Whatnot. Whatnot is an amazing online platform where we get to interact directly with you while selling some of our treasures. We've been on Whatnot since this channel started and it's so much fun. We do shows frequently like the one that's upcoming. Here are the details for it. We hope to see you there. Okay, we are now at another Goodwill. So let's Keep our fingers crossed and see what we find, Gary. It's been an interesting day. Hopefully it gets more interesting. Yeah, <laughs> very much. Let's go. Well, what is it with us finding these big roosters? Maybe we should be buying them or something. Maybe oh, wow, that one's big and colorful. The universe is trying to tell us something. Oh, look down here, Gary. Look at these. Those are very nice. I really like the design on those. Look at them. Aren't those beautiful? Those are colorful too, aren't they? Yes, they're very beautiful. Very, very pretty. 
I think we're going to pick those up. Yeah, I like those. Yeah. Let's see what else. That's a good start. Absolutely. Let's see what else we can find. We have a bunch of bunch of dream catchers and some poorly painted figurines. Look at this little, little tea set. Looks like Alice in Wonderland. It is sh uh, Schilling from 2008. Just a little little tea set. Pretty sweet. What's wrapped up there in the bubble wrap? In here, it looks like um, little candle holders. Just plain clear glass candle holders. And we have this gal here. And what is this? Oh, that's just a little handmade piece by someone experimenting with pottery. We have a very colorful gnome right here. Look at that. He's uh, he's kind of a Latin gnome, huh? What is this picture back here? Is that a... Uh, thought that may be a handmade piece, but it's from Steinmart, so I don't think so. Well, I only see a corner of it. What's that mug back there? Back here? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's a Christmas mug. Never mind. Well, you never know. Always look. Always worth looking. Here's a little fake bonsai plant. You would never have to clip this one. No. Let's see what else. Little candle holders and a little, little bird. He's kind of colorful. Piece of glass. Okay. Well, why don't we turn the corner and see what else we can find? These are interesting, these little bamboo vessels. Not interesting enough to pick up, though. Let's see what else, Gary. Oh, look at this little copper ashtray. Looked kind of Art Deco for a minute, but it's extremely worn. Let's see what else. The vases are a little bit light today, aren't they? Not too many here. A lot of clear ones. Well, why don't we check out the mugs here? Let's take a look. What is this? Nope, production piece. Going up high, can you see anything, Gary? No, not from here. Not from there. At that high vantage point. <laughs> uh, what is that one in the back there? Which one? Oh, over there. Ooh, I don't know. Good eye. Birds. Oh, <laughs> made in China. But it's pretty, isn't you it? You never know until you pick it up. You just don't. But it is pretty. Let's see what's down here. I don't see too much down here either. Oh, look at the, the chihuahua. That's funny. Funny little doggy mugs. All right, let's go up to the glassware. Well, they just brought out a new cart and that's always fresh meat. They have these carnival glass uh, goblets, a set of four, but I'm just not so uh, they look like sure. They're in pretty good shape. A lot of times people put them in the washing machine and they get really worn looking. These I know. They actually don't look like they've been in the machine too many times. They don't, they look pretty good. Let's put them in the cart and think about them. Make sure that they're not chipped. Well, we didn't get a lot, but we got some really nice items. This beautiful set of marigold carnival glass. These beautiful, beautiful candle holders. And as I was coming to the checkout, I found this artist-signed, hand-painted ornament ball. 
really beautiful. It's got all the provenance inside and everything. So come on, Gary, on to the next. There we go. Okay, we're at a Goodwill way out on the farthest edge of Las Vegas. And we thought we'd give it a try, but there's no carts. Uh-oh, really busy. Let's see what we can find. All right, Gary, you found us one. My hero. I'll do what I can, ma'am. <laughs> well, that's a cute little birdhouse. Look at these bottles. I don't think they're old, though. This piece, however, Japan, that's got some age on it. Look at that. What would you put in there? Like little stamps or? In the kitchen? Oh, that's, that's an idea, huh? Unfortunately, look at, there's a crack in it right there. Oh, that's too bad. That is an older piece for sure. How about this piece here? No, it's a newer piece. So much to look at. There's this little, little egg. Lots and lots of plates down here. Look at this cat. I love the face on that cat. Ah, oh, look at the name. Chloe. Chloe. Uh. Chloe. Chloe cat. Up here. That looks like it's stone, but it's not. That's plastic. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love these, Gary. Speak no, no evil. evil, see no evil, hear no evil. Oh, they are precious. That's very cool. Oh, I love those. Very, very cool. Weight? Yeah, it's really heavy. It could absolutely be a paperweight. I love those. And they're old, too. And of course, I have to know. What are you looking at? Oh, those things. Nope. No. No gloves. We have a thin little vase here. This looks like a... Nope, not a handmade, I don't think. This is not... Is that Lennox? I don't think so, no. Okay, we've got lots and lots of candles here. I love these guys. They are so cool. Let's see what else we have. Oh, look at the pig. We're seeing a lot of pigs today, aren't we? I know. And this is kind of like a... It's not really a fairy lamp. It's a candle. It's not Yankee Candle either. The, the painting on it is not superb though, so I'm not gonna do that. Look at the pig dish. Oh, he's all, he's all crazed. It's noisy in here, so we're just gonna have to go with it. That is a hand-painted little napkin holder, I presume. And we have little piggy banks. It's pretty light. Oh, for William. Hey, Will. He's, He's a, a hoot. hoot. Oh, look at these. These are by Gans. I've seen these little plaques. Having some place to go is home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. That's nice. That's really sweet. Very, very sweet. Sweet little saying. And All right. here. What do you see? He and she are both a hoot as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> They're smart owls. <laughs> You're so funny. What is this? Wow. That is some, that is something, huh? I think that's just a mass produced piece, but you know, that was $50, that price tag on the bottom of that piece. That's very cool. That'd be so hard to ship, but I can really admire it. Let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. A quartz clock, it's missing, made in China. It's missing its top that would be here. The little handle. These glass eagles. Here. I know. What is that? Oh, they are 
United We Stand. This is plastic, it's not glass. It's a plastic and it is a pride of the nation by uh, the Bradford Exchange, it looks like, or Brad X. So they are, somebody collected those and then they decide to donate them. A little cowboy boot here. Oh, it's a salt, a singleton salt and pepper. I've seen this piece before by this company. I've seen that before. Let's look down here. Do we see anything? What are these? The Mariners, Seattle Mariners. They're just there. And look, it's it's signed. It looks like cloth, doesn't it? It's not. It is signed, though. Boy, a Mariners fan would come along and be pretty happy with that. Let's see what else. Look at these guys. They look like they have some age on them. Those are colorful. Oh, no, they're Avon. Well, they're still probably old. I think somebody donated a fish collection. What do you think? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's obviously missing something. It probably had some sort of holder in there of some kind. Let's see what else. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Look, a motion activated novelty candy dish. So it's a pig, but if you take it out, the pig goes oink. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Little hanging that says hope. All right, let's turn the corner. We're not getting that dish. Look at all these baskets. I like this one. I swear I've seen this basket before because I remember that blue imperfection in there. How did these things migrate around? I don't know. It's a mystery. Now we've got some artwork over here even. That's kind of uh, home goods artwork. What is this basket box? It's empty. We've got one of those little picture frame holders. People can put their whole family in there. Lots of little art pieces. Let's move down here. We're in the metal section and I'm trying to see what um, they have. Look at the copper here. Oh, look at this easel. That's a nice easel. They went $3.99 only for that. Isn't that cool, Gary? It's a Good very uh, cool display on something. It huh? is. I've got so many of these, but for three ninety nine, I just can't leave it behind. I've I think never it's, seen one quite like that. Before. I've never seen one with a rooster on top like that. So I'm absolutely going to pick this up. And what is this copper piece right here? It looks like it's got some age on it. Uh, it's missing its side uh, little ring handle on there. And that one's a cheap one, but this, this is pretty nice. I like this one. It looks like somebody donated a lot of their copper collection, doesn't it? Got all these little pieces. They're pretty dirty. They need really to be cleaned up. They are vintage, made in Hong Kong. And see how old that is. It's, this one's pretty lightweight though. I like this guy, he's pretty fun. He's very lightweight though. They're not all in the best of condition, unfortunately. Ah, I thought that was a bell. It's some sort of weight. Oh, this little copper dish. Actually not copper, silver. A little silver dish. I misspoke. Those dishes. Always looking for sterling. There's a look, there's a feel. You can always tell. Let's keep going. Well, I have a, a serving set right here. Quite old, Nothing. don't they? Yeah, they're, they're, probably got, they're probably about 40 years old, maybe. All right. Well, 
let's keep on going. This sweet little bud vase has some nice etching on it. Not signed though, it's very, very lightweight. Looks like it has some age to it. A little bit, it does, honey. All right, we're kind of got a lot of clear pieces here. Look at this piece. This looks like a piece of studio pottery, doesn't it? I'm so surprised that that's not signed. A little crude. What is this? Oh, that's heavy. Somebody tried to make a shell made in Vietnam. All worn there. I thought that was more of a handmade piece. Oh, look, there's a whole, there's a whole, whole family of them. Huh. And what is this guy? Nope. That's nothing. Let's look down here. That was made in 1988. And let's see what do we have down here. Nothing's catching my eye here. Let's move on. Oh, look at the size of this blue one. My goodness, that's large. Large and in charge. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. I'm trying to see, is that a signature? I don't think so. Do you see what I mean? I think it's just yeah, scratching. It to be. No, I think it's just scratches. It's a nice, it's a nice piece. It's heavy. What do we have back here? This. <coughs> Stay there. What is this piece? Ah, oh, it's heavy. They're all heavy. Production piece. This vase feels nice, but I don't. Uh, I don't see any kind of signature. Or I'm afraid that it might be a little used. I do like the base. The thing is that. A vase this heavy should have some sort of marking on it to identify it and so forth. If it doesn't, then I think it's just a, a production piece. I hope I'm not wrong. I hope that's not the $90,000 vase. What do you think, Gary? If oh. it is, I hate to be walking by it. I know. Oh, it's painted in Mexico. Hmm. A little worn, I think. Just a little too worn for, for us. All right, let's, let's keep going. Well, there's quite a few mugs here. Whether there's anything for us is the question. Let's see. Artist Touch from Scottsdale, Arizona, but then it's made in China. It's got shipped to... Let's see, what are these? Made in China, but they're, they would be really good for the 4th of July, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. It's like little fireworks. Let's see what's down here. This, is that Starbucks? I don't know, but William has had this before. And I think he said it's really good. I don't know. I feel like I've seen that before. You know what, I'm gonna pick it up because I really think that that William likes these. He, I, he, not for him, but I mean to sell, that he thinks these are really good. I'm gonna pick this one up. And what else do we have? Uh, it's Halloween. What's this guy? Nope. There's another one of those cat back there. Oh yeah. Oh no, look at this. Look what's inside. A little the, kitty. A little cat. That's so cute. Looks like it's in really good condition. Looks like it's never been used. I'm gonna pick that up. It's really precious. All right, so we'll get these two. You stay. And I don't think I see anything else down here. You know, we're always looking for Starbucks mugs, too. 
let's see what I mean. Ikea. Oh, he's cute. He's a signature. He says that he's for cat people. Oh, that, that's a strange looking. Looks like Legos. Legos, right. A Lego mug. What are these? Those are S. Rackham. $2.99 on those. Okay, well, I think we'll take these two for sure. And moving on. I just wanted to show you this, Gary. Look at this platter. It's really, really quite lovely. And it is, obviously it was sold by Nordstrom's. That kind of tells you something. And it's uh, Lesal, L-E-S-A-L ceramics. Handcrafted in California by Lisa Lindbergh. And obviously that's her, her signature there. But I bet this cost a pretty penny. Those are certainly your colors. They are. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine this on a spring table? It'd be so beautiful, but it would also be so hard to ship. So I think I'm going to have to leave it for someone else. But it's, it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. Oh, here. Uh -huh. This is one for you, Will. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Of course, now it's changed to no, no one. No one. There you go. Oh, look at this. These look like they match those little. They uh, do. So, cups so, so how perfect those cups for soda and these for hot dogs uh -huh. or corn. Yeah, you have your whole Fourth of July planned. You're looking. What is that? It is. Um, I can't. T that's. I think that's Mexican pottery, not Italian. Very pretty, but do you see how crazed it is? Yes. Once it's crazed like that, you can't really use it for food because it bacteria uh -huh. and so forth can get in those lines. But it is pretty. Look at this piece. My goodness. So many big floral pieces. And that one was handcrafted in Italy and it was sold for $26.99. That's not bad. That's, that set is beautiful. Boy, if you were trying to put together a gorgeous outdoor picnic, this is the place to come. Tons and tons of beautiful pieces. Look at this. It's a limited edition reproduction from an original oil painting by Mary Villanova Tomey. It's, uh, it's Greece. It's six out of 450. You want to go to Greece, I know. I do. Well, look how pretty it looks. I know. It looks very, very beautiful. Let's put that right there. Maybe someone will uh, come along and buy it. Lots of big art here. Look at that frame. <laughs> I thought you were saying move. <laughs> look at that frame. Look at that. That is so, oh my goodness. That's pretty ornate, isn't it? That looks so medieval. It's new, obviously. It's, but that is something. Boy, if you had just the right uh, print or mirror, I'll even. I bet there was a mirror in there. I bet. That's quite something, though. I think you have a whole herd of them now, Gary. <laughs> Let's take a look at the small art. I am not seeing anything else. So I say we head up towards the jewelry. What do you say? Let's go. Okay, so let's see if we can see anything. That pendant right there is, is really pretty. I like the colors on that. This piece is old, that looks very 80s with kind of like the lotus type shape right there. Looking down here, 
I'm trying to see if I see anything down on the next shelf. Wow, look at that piece. That is quite something, isn't it? You see that giant piece there, Gary? It is giant. It is giant. It looks like it would be very heavy. It does. Let's just take a look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is that is kind of large very and charged. Very different, yeah. I wonder if it has, does it have any name on it, I wonder. It's very different, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Just trying to see, it's, obviously it's not silver. I'm trying to see if it has all of its pieces. Is it as heavy as it looks? Yeah, it's heavy. It's not, not horrible heavy. Let's see if it doesn't really want to go down there though. All right, I think obviously if it was silver, it'd be something else and obviously it wouldn't be that price. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for showing oh, it to me. Absolutely. Well, we didn't find a lot, but I like what we found, especially this precious little paperweight with the little hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkeys. Love it on marble. All right, Gary, let's check out. Well, I had a great time at the Golden Knights game, and it's always fun watching my parents pick. Now we've met back up and it's time for some Nielsen's frozen custard. Nielsen's, of course, has a location in Red Rocks that you've seen us visit several times, but we're at their original location in Henderson, and this place is so much fun. I love the turn-of-the-century atmosphere in here, and you can see a really cool item here. They have an original antique stove that was restored on the History Channel show American Restoration. How cool is that? Well, we've got three Sundays here. We've got three spoons, and we're ready to enjoy. Yum. All right, let's recap today's finds. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you always know when an episode premieres. Also, please check out PickerRoad.com where you can purchase many of the fun items we've found on our adventures. Lastly, please leave a comment. We read all of them and we love interacting with you because we always want you to join the journey.